Throughout the human journey, we encounter challenges in dealing with vices like arrogance, laziness, gluttony, lust, and greed. These dark aspects are a natural part of us, and at some point, we all confront their influence. The history of humanity is full of reflections on these impulses, transmitted by thinkers throughout the ages. Our vices have the power to awaken our less rational side, tempting us and clouding our clarity of thought. They direct our desires towards more basic passions, often masking our reason and persuading us that they are not as harmful as they seem. Here is where historical philosophy comes in, sheening as a critical light against vices. Historians emphasize that vices not only undermine our reason, but also imprison our freedom, turning us into animals ruled by instincts. The essence of Stoicism lies in cultivating virtue, a rational habit that separates us from vices, paving the way for a fulfilling and happy life. Therefore, the key to achieving fulfillment lies in inner transformation, distancing ourselves from vices and embracing virtue. As you may have personally experienced, Vices have an overwhelming effect on our happiness. Initially, they might seem like sources of fulfillment, but this feeling is fleeting. Once it fades, we're left with pain, discomfort, and dissatisfaction. Vices fill a void, but in reality, they drain our energies and leave a painful mark on our inner essence. In agreement with the words of Marcus Aurelius, we realize that vices are, by nature, destructive. In this sense, I would add that vices represent a formidable adversary, a force we almost always encounter. However, virtue emerges as the most powerful defense against this threat. The journey I'll share in this video aims to assist you in gaining control over yourself, taming vices, and ultimately cultivating a more virtuous and happier life. To achieve this purpose, the content will be divided into two distinct parts. First, we will explore the meaning of vice from a historical perspective. Then, I'll present practical strategies to combat vices through virtue. Together, we will walk the path towards internal transformation and the pursuit of a more fulfilling life. In the realm of Stoicism, vice is considered a pattern of behavior that not only contradicts moral principles, but also deeply harms the individual who adopts it. It manifests as an affliction of the soul, leaning towards irrational desires, distorting judgment, and casting shadows of suffering over inner tranquility and personal serenity. Vanity, anger, fear, lust, greed, gluttony, and dependencies are concrete examples of vices we can all recognize. Marcus Aurelius provides a clear perspective on these deviations of the soul, highlighting two pillars, ignorance as the first and most severe vice and lack of self-mastery as the second. The root of vice is an error in assessment emerging when we fail to exercise the virtue of wisdom appropriately. In periods dominated by vice, our understanding leads us down two paths. Either we mistakenly classify harmful things as positive, or we recognize the evil but try to convince ourselves it's beneficial. Stoicism invites us to seek mental clarity, overcome these challenges, and through wisdom, achieve a life aligned with higher values. In both cases, the result is the same. Understanding is nullified and veers away from truth. Reason is given carte blanche for pleasure and desire. Momentary pleasure is prioritized over true happiness, and we become prisoners of impulses. By nature, impulses are irrational and selfish, making us more animal than human. Surrendering to vice renounces reason, the hallmark of humanity, and enslaves us to our passions. This choice demonstrates a clear lack of self-love and love for humanity, betraying our most perfect and noble qualities. Moreover, vice not only makes us more animal-like, but also dependent and manipulable, erasing our freedom and rendering us unable to make choices. Prone to vice, 
Others can manipulate us, exploiting this weakness. After the error of ignorance, vice, as a lack of self-mastery, obscures reason at times, temporarily losing control over our passions and the ability to direct them towards virtue. Desires and virtue, according to historical principles, do not go hand in hand. Therefore, a vis in desires distances use from serenity and true happiness, both of which we should strive for. However challenging, this journey is in line with a grand purpose to achieve true happiness. If the path to fulfillment were easy, its attainment would not be as wonderful and valuable as it is. Therefore, inherent difficulty only highlights the preciousness of the reward. If your perspective aligns with the historical thinkers, you likely resonate with these ideas. Nonetheless, a question might linger. How can I effectively overcome vices in my daily life? Where do I begin? The answer lies in concrete action and the pursuit of small daily victories. Every conscious choice, every step towards self-discipline and virtue is a significant triumph. This is where it all starts the seed of personal growth and inner transformation. So, begin there for even the most challenging journeys commence with a single step. The next stage of our journey is dedicated to the second part of this video, where I will unveil various strategies to challenge the dominance of vices and nurture virtue within us. Tip number one, know yourself. Facing challenges without deep self-understanding is difficult. Taking a moment to reflect carefully on our weaknesses and vicious tendencies is the starting point. Our inner self holds the consciousness of these aspects, and our feelings reveal the roots of our disturbances and dissatisfactions, greed, uncontrolled passion, gluttony, irritation, self-indulgence. Recognizing these forces and gaining clarity about what we wish to confront is a crucial step. This self-awareness empowers us to challenge harmful patterns and gradually transform them into virtues. Self-awareness is the key that enables us to make decisions aligned with a serene and meaningful life. Remember, all progress begins with identifying areas in need of transformation, and each step towards self-mastery brings us closer to the greatness within us. Tip number two. Understand that this journey is extensive and challenging. Breaking free from vices is not a simple task, as they are deeply ingrained in our habits. Understand that throughout this process, you may take steps backward, and that's okay. These falls are natural and part of the journey. The crucial point is not to give up. Whenever necessary, regain the fight against these harmful patterns, Maintain the flame of determination burning. Perseverance is the secret. If you persist, there will come a day when you have completely overcome these obstacles. Each effort you make, every attempt to conquer, is a step towards victory over vices. Believe in your transformative potential. Tip number three. Find your inner motivation. Reflect on the precious reasons that inspire you to leave vices behind. The pursuit of happiness is central, but each of us will have equally important personal motives, saving money, taking care of health, improving relationships. Keep these motivations always in sight, especially in difficult moments. Remember that these objectives are incomparably more valuable and rewarding than the vices that held you. They are the treasures guiding your steps towards a richer, more fulfilling life. In the face of challenges, your motivation will be the light leading you through shadows toward triumph over the obstacles you encounter. Tip number four, set realistic and achievable goals. Establish targets that present a challenge yet remain within reach. They shouldn't be overly simplistic, nor should they seem unattainable. Strike a balance. When setting goals, recognize that overcoming vice requires dedication but it's also crucial to believe you can achieve these objectives. A feeling of challenge should be present. 
alongside the conviction that with effort and determination you can overcome these challenges. It's the combination of challenge and self-belief that leads to remarkable victories on this journey. Tip number five, embrace a gradual approach. If you are deeply entwined with a vice, initiate the process of change gradually. There's no need to abandon everything at once. Instead, set goals that evolve progressively, daily, weekly, or monthly. Just as ants build a mountain grain by grain, as expressed by Marcus Aurelius, virtue is not achieved overnight. It's the result of continuous effort in managing vices. So, remember that each step you take towards virtue is a significant achievement. Every small advancement, no matter how minor it seems, contributes to the construction of a mountain of self-discipline and personal growth. Stay focused and celebrate every progress, no matter how small, for each one brings you closer to the person you aspire to be. Tip number six, distance yourself from risky situations. If you've identified your vices and acknowledged your weaknesses and you're determined to overcome them, it's crucial to avoid scenarios that may lead you back to these harmful patterns. This may involve adjusting certain habits in your routine and modifying your environment to escape temptations. Remember, this journey demands courage and determination. However, always keep in mind that every sacrifice you make on this path is worthwhile. Every time you consciously choose to distance yourself from situations that trigger vices, you're approaching your own freedom and the well-being you seek. Each choice you make to avoid risk is a significant victory, shaping a brighter and more fulfilling future. Tip number seven, distance yourself from the influence of those who encourage vices. Those who push us towards vices are not wishing us well. When we genuinely value someone, we want the best for them. The harmful leads to unhappiness. Therefore, someone who encourages us on this path isn't contributing to our highest good. In fact, they hinder our progress. As Seneca expressed, control over vices isn't just a step towards self-transformation. It's also a service to society and the world. By choosing good and virtue, we elevate ourselves and contribute positively to the world. While this may be challenging, strive to distance yourself from those who negatively influence you. You might find it necessary to leave behind relationships that don't contribute positively to both parties. Don't be afraid to seek a healthier, uplifting environment where you can grow and flourish towards your best self. Tip number eight. Don't hesitate to seek help. No one is a solver of all problems. Sometimes the best choice is to seek support from others. Aside from finding the support you need, remember that many individuals have faced similar challenges, including the same vices you're struggling against. They have valuable experiences to share, whether they are friends, family, philosophers, or professionals. A variety of people are ready to offer assistance. When we seek help, we show courage and humility. There's no shame in it. In fact, it's a sign of strength to recognize when support is needed and actively search for solutions. The connections you make and the knowledge you gain from sharing experiences can be powerful tools on your journey to overcoming vices. So, remember you're not alone on this journey, and help is available to propel you towards a brighter, more rewarding path. Tip number nine. Understand the distinction between fleeting pleasure and lasting fulfillment. As you reduce instances of stumbling into vices, you'll begin to notice a stark discrepancy between the momentary pleasure vices offer and the lasting satisfaction that comes from overcoming them through virtue. This satisfaction of liberation from vices carries a joy and serenity much deeper than the short-lived pleasure provided by vices, the true contentment in conquering them is incomparably more enduring and rewarding. Throughout this journey, you'll realize that despite the challenges of resisting vices, the happiness gained from surpassing them is genuine and enduring. 
Always keep in mind that this inner transformation is an incredible achievement, shaping not just your present, but also your future. By choosing lasting satisfaction over momentary pleasure, you're paving the way for a life of genuine fulfillment and contentment. Keep this understanding close to your heart, as it will guide you through the most challenging moments, illuminating the path to victory over vices and the discovery of a truly meaningful life. Tip number 10. Reflect on the harm both you and others face. When we engage in vices, it's common to downplay the negative impact they have on us and others. However, the truth is that vices leave a deep mark on our soul and pave the way for unhappiness. They suggest a considerable lack of self-esteem as we harm ourselves by denying the good we deserve. Furthermore, the effects of vices inevitably extend to those around us. Acting benevolently towards yourself and others is essential. Instead of embracing harmful patterns, always seek what is good and virtuous. As Seneca expressed, mastering vices isn't just a step towards self-transformation, it's also a service to society and the world. When you choose good and virtue, you elevate yourself and positively impact those around you. Every step you take to free yourself from vices is a contribution to a healthier, harmonious world. While challenging, this journey is also a service beyond yourself. Keep moving forward with confidence. I hope you enjoyed the video. Enjoy and leave your like and comment. I left an ebook on Stoicism in the video description. Get yours now. See you next time.